Welcome back to Dobre Cars, where fast is a lifestyle. Today we have our car collection. We're gonna be revealing it to you all. Finally, all of them are here, so let's do this. Let's go. Yeah, we're let's gonna go. be also telling you guys what we have coming and what we're thinking about getting rid of as well. So make sure you guys like and subscribe this video. Make sure you guys watch the whole video and comment down below what's your favorite car in the collection and what you think maybe we should get in the future. Starting off first is the 2024 Lamborghini Revuelto. Starting off first, this is the 2024 Lamborghini Revuelto, the first V12 hybrid they have produced with 1,001 horsepower, weighing approximately 4,100 pounds with some gas in the tank. This thing does zero to 60 in 2.5 seconds. Top speed, just over 217 miles per hour. This thing is an absolute beast, man. One way to describe it, I would say it's the Lamborghini SVJ and the Performante but with a lot more speed and a lot more technology in it. Uh, can't complain with this far. Definitely my favorite Lamborghini I've ever owned and definitely a keeper. I know they are gonna release a uh, Revolto Roadster. They did offer me an allocation for that one. That'll be dropping in about uh, three years, but I'm not really gonna, I don't know. I'm not really looking into that at all. I'm really grateful for this one. And um, they are gonna come out with a super sport model like the SVJ for the Aventador. So stay tuned because maybe we'll check that out later on in the future, guys. But this is the Lamborghini Revuelto. Come check out the interior. Beautiful in here. Should I start it up? Yes. Right. Yes, bro. I wanna hear it. So the car does need to warm up a little bit. Like I said, it's a V12, so it takes some time to warm up. But you know, I'm glad we got a couple revs in for you guys. So on to the next car. This is the 2024 Ferrari 296 GTB. Everyone, this is Ferrari's first twin turbo V6 hybrid. And yes, it does a lot of power, 819 horsepower. The weight is around 3,500 pounds with fluids and everything. Zero to 60, mid twos. And it's definitely a nine second car on the quarter mile. We haven't tested up against all of our cars yet, but we're really excited to see what it can do. We got Rosso Corsa on the exterior. We got the traditional titanium wheels, traditional beige tan interior. We're gonna look at that very soon here. This is exactly the same spec that I had on my little toy Ferrari Enzo when I was a little kid. It's always my dream. Actually, I have the Enzo inside this car. Let me show it to you guys. It's a reminder that hard work pays off and you have faith in God, anything is possible. Thank you, Jesus Christ, amen. Whoa. There it is, see? Titanium wheels, Rosso Corsa. It's a Beautiful. blessing. What I love about this car is you can literally see the engine. So let me show you guys. Here it is. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It's beautiful. And it is definitely based off of F1 technology. I mean, their F1 car is a twin turbo V6 hybrid. And this car is just so nimble. I mean, you've rode in it before, Christian. So can't wait to put it to the fast. test. Very, very fast. All right, let's uh, hear how it sounds. <laughs> It's a blessing and this is definitely a keeper, man. I mean, wow. I don't know what else to say, but God is good. That's it. We love you all. You guys already know this car. This is my baby. My second wife. It's like, no. <laughs> my second wife. <laughs> Just joking. This is my 488 Pista 2019. I've had this for over maybe five to six years now. It's 2019, right? Um, yeah, you guys know that I never want to get rid of this one. This is my baby. I just love this car so much. This, in my opinion, this is my favorite Ferrari driving experience. This really gives me a lot of emotion. So it has 710 horsepower, weighing around maybe 3,000 pounds, low 3,000. This is my favorite car. Like, it's just, it's a race car in my opinion. So it's beautiful yeah, too. Yeah, come take a look. Well, of course, uh, same color as size, just 296. The interior is nuts. Yeah, fully carboned out. V8 twin turbo. Yo, the pizza came to play today. Yo, that's yeah, not playing. great. He's not playing. I can't wait to race this car against Silas and Darius' his new car. I want to see how different uh, the hybrid system performs. Obviously, I know they're faster than me, 
but we'll see how close it's gonna be. All right, let's go to Marcus's car. So behind me, we got the GT2 RS. I've had it for five years. 3.8 liter twin turbo, flat six, pushing 700 horsepower. I don't think I'm ever getting rid of this. Um, I love it so much. They are coming out with a new GT2 RS, but I gotta see how much power it has and how it looks. You can really hear the uh, turbo spooling yeah. on this. It's not as loud, but I love it. All right, let's move on. Next car. This is a 992 GT3 RS, uh, pushing 518 horsepower. We did add an exhaust on it, so it does around 570 crank. Um, this is definitely our best sounding car. Yeah, honestly. we're so grateful to be able to uh, attain one of these, honestly. Um, we're, we're really grateful and blessed. It was, as you guys know, it's really hard to get one of these 992 GT3 RSs, but shout out to RDS and uh, Porsche Philly for hooking it up. We really appreciate you guys. I would say this is the best sounding car in the fleet, just because we have an exhaust just, on it. I just said that. <laughs> like, I just said that. <laughs> but yeah, so this is, this is such a beauty. This is a very fun car to drive. Rev it. No, do you want to? No, no you, you got you, it. No, you, <laughs> no, you got it. Huh? I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, why are we doing this? Uh, Let's right, do right. it. Like what? After adding the exhaust and the headers and stuff like that, like it's pretty close to like a super, like a supercar speed, right? Yeah. Say like a, maybe like a Uracan speed, stuff like that. On the track though, it's gonna take mostly everything. Yeah, on so the track. That's yeah. that's its advantage. It's not a straight line car. Like go up, go up on the track with one of these. Like that's where you're that's where you're winning every race. Yeah. <laughs> car we got the Urus Performante this is not a regular Urus it has 15 more horsepower than a regular Urus it is limited and uh, yeah it's a beauty yeah um, with the new Urus is the actual one hybrid the new Urus SE um, so this is the last special edition Lamborghini Urus so that's why we really appreciate this one um, we did have some thoughts of selling it right getting rid of it but I think it's gonna stay in the fleet for now so now yeah. it's getting close to winter we need an all-wheel drive supercar so yeah it has 666 horsepower twin total v8 doesn't this have like an akropovic exhaust too? yeah it does come stock with the akropovic um they dynoed it crank it has like over like 703 like 70, 703 crank horsepower so it's, it's a fast car like it is a fast car right, let's hear it <laughs> The 2022 BMW XXM competition. Amazing, reliable car. This is actually my family car. I always travel with Kyle and everything. I have the car seat in the back. Um, but wow, all wheel drive, twin turbo V8, around 600 horsepower. And man, I've always had X6s, XXMs. They can go long distances. Like I've driven all over the country with this and they're still fast. You know, it's still a racing SUV. But let me start it up and show you guys what it's all about. I've got the full red guts in there. And that's about it. Still needs to warm up a little bit. It's a chilly day, but hey, it still sounds good in my opinion. So there's still another car that I don't have here. There's just too many cars to drive. I have my vintage Gazelle. Here's a picture of it. How to get one for the classics. Amazing car. And fun to drive when it's nice out. You know, the top even comes off. I haven't done that yet, but I had to have a vintage car in the collection. It was always my dream, so hope you guys enjoy my car collection. Let's see the rest of the cars. What else we got here? Then we got another SUV. And also, guys, as you know, we got a 2023 G63 AMG, the G-Wagon. It is in service right now. I have to do my service B. It's color matching with the Revolta, so I love those cars. 
So we got the Defender, Land Rover Defender. We traded in the Tesla Model Y for this. Great choice. <laughs> Great choice. Yeah, so we don't have any more Teslas in the family besides the Cybertruck. The Cybertruck got a recall. It's in the shop right now, so the Tesla Cybertruck is gone for now, but hopefully we get that back soon. Ford Blanco. Um, Sitting pretty up here, huh? Yeah. This, this, this car is a tank, you know? I daily drive this car, so I really do enjoy this. I really do enjoy this car. I'm a big fan of it. Good off-roading, too. Well, that's our collection. We hope you guys enjoyed it. And now we're going to actually talk about some cars we're planning to get in the future. We'll see what happens. What are you guys thinking? So, of course, uh, we still got my Ferrari Pro Songway coming in. Here's a picture. They said that it should be still coming in maybe next year around summertime. If Ferrari, if you're watching this, please give me the SF90XX. Um, <laughs> I would really appreciate that. If I can get my hands on that Ferrari, I would obviously get that. But we'll see. Uh, I know the new GT Tourist is coming out. So I just want to see what the specs are with that. I'm looking at that. But I don't know if I'm going to get it for sure yet. So, my Revolto just came in. I love my G-Wagon. I daily that. Um, so, I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling pretty solid right now about the Revolto. I haven't really looked into the Temerario, but um, once that car hits the, the dealerships and the showcases, we'll go check it out. Every car looks better in person, but right now I'm feeling pretty good about the G63 and the Revolto. Yeah, and I'm definitely happy with what I have right now, but definitely excited to see the new Ferrari hypercar coming out yeah. and seeing how this new line of hypercars are going to compete against each other. I mean, the supercars now are already hypercar speed, so let's see how these other hypercars are going to do. I mean, there's going to be probably the new version of the 918 too. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Cars are just getting faster from here, more efficient, and the future is here, man. So see what happens and god is good so thank you guys for watching we couldn't have done this without you and more to come maybe next time we'll have a race or something yeah, yeah for sure keep chasing your dreams anything is possible stay tuned for the races like cyrus said subscribe turn on those post notifications we'll see you guys next time thanks for watching